there was also a guy who was also very smart and uh, he was ahead of us and I was his I was a classmate with his younger brother so we used to look at this guy he's always very sharp very smart then when we finished form 4 we finished when we were in form 1 he was in form 4 so when we finished form 4 he should have now been maybe graduated already mm -hmm. so when we were coming to pick our results i met the brother and come say hey but how is your bro my longa ule chop my longa form 4 can i be hey bro i don't even talk about him what happened at he, he was to graduate this last december but we went to pick his degree alipata hiv cure first year So he died, I think, after 40 years, he just died. So we picked his degree. So imagine that short life. Why? Because we think that at Wanasema, uh, Ujana, to enjoy because it's short season. But there are always consequences. There's always consequences. There's always consequences. Iyo Ujana, in Wanasema, enjoy when you have the, when you have Nguvu. That is the time to invest in yourself for the future because mm. the, 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 the years in 30s, in 40s, mm. in a determined that with what you're doing in your 20s. It's very true. And even the Bible says, serve God when you're still strong. Mm. Yeah, mm. when you still have strength. Yeah. Mm. You, there is no need of, 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 of waiting until you are 50s, 60s. Work on you, your, your goals. Mm. Start from short term goals. Kadogo, kadogo. Wake up early. Wacha kuletewa chai na anti kwa bedroom. Yeah. Start mm -hmm. early. Wake up. Do things like meditation. It will keep you grounded. Mm -hmm. You will align your goals. You will align your oh, path. Yes. And you will begin to be self-aware. You will discover yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the reason as to why you are trying to get engaged with alcohol, sex, and what, is because you still haven't identified what you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. And you still think your life is entirely for your parents mm -hmm. and it is their responsibility. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. begin having small, small goals. Like, let me read a chapter of a book. Youths have a lot of encouraging mm -hmm. books. Start yeah. reading books now. Don't wait until you're old. Mm -hmm. After six months, if you've done these two things, Meditation, reading, mm -hmm. trying to work out to keep your mind alert. Mm. Tell me, come about the person craving for porn, craving for kupiga shere. In fact, your friends shall have changed. Mm. So start small, and mm. then you will realize your your life will be you will be coming you will be coming whole. Yeah. Doesn't matter the trauma you you maybe you saying I went through uh, rejection or neglect by parents or something. Start, take your life, it is your responsibility. Take your destiny in your mm -hmm. hand. Yeah. yeah, I also wanted to add on something on what Verity has actually said. Yes. That when you are a youth, it's important for you to invest in knowledge. Yes. Because when you have knowledge, uh, the difference between two youths or two teenagers yes. is not their physical body, but the knowledge that they have sure. to help them apply it in life so that they can become successful. Mm -hmm. And so knowledge is very, very, very key. Mm -hmm. And uh, as she has said, keep yourself busy when you are idle it is when you think of all these things because you have too much energy mm. and then as she's saying at home make sure that you have some responsibilities that you do mm. home chores you know you clean the house you clean the floor you clean the compound you know have things you wash clothes you wash utensils mm. keep yourself busy just not only being on the screen on your phone mm. on wi-fi you know you spend all your night there at the end of the day you will find there are things that will pop up and you might find yourself being in the wrong company yeah. so keep, keep when you are busy as we have always said a nine of mind mm. is the workshop of the devil. the devil is so when you are busy it is very hard for the devil to get you up and then another thing get mentors Young as you are, you need a mentor. Mm -hmm. You need someone you can you can emulate. You can actually look as an example in your life. Mm -hmm. What do you endeavor to do? Mm -hmm. Then you can look for that person who can be able to guide you, so that you can be able to live to your full potential. Mm -hmm. So most of the, of the teenagers and youths, they don't have mentors. Mm -hmm. They feel they know it all. That know it all. Is, 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 a, is a lie, is a stronghold that has destroyed so many people. You need to have mentors. Just like you had to be taught someone, you had to be taught about physics by a teacher, you had to be taught about, you know, uh, something, whatever 
thing that you do computers by someone anything that you endeavor to do you must get a mentor mentorship is very important mm -hmm. and when you are you are being mentored have a spirit to be teachable yes. you can be able to be taught mm -hmm. not that you 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 want to look higher than a, than the other person mm -hmm. and then avoid the pride of life the pride of life has destroyed so many people yeah. and i want to speak to our youth mm -hmm. what you see on the facebook on the instagram what you see on twitter what you see on on videos is not real mm -hmm. most of those things are actually fake mm. and uh, people can fake you know buying a new car and mm. maybe it is a it is a, 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 a what a loan the car promotion. or even hired. Some are or hired the promotion mm. hired and you mm. wish you are like this person who are with them in school don't just admire the results it is good to understand the process mm. most of the times we admire what people have become but we don't want to go through the process that they have been mm. the process is what sustains that which mm. you, that which you have acquired even when you are at old age you can even explain to another person I did one two three for me to make it yeah. on that note I also wanted to add about music mm -hmm. the reason why uh, most of the teenagers and youths and some adults are still very much addicted to music yeah. and especially secular music it is important for you to know anything that you listen mm -hmm. comes with the sounds mm -hmm. and the sound has energy mm -hmm. and this energy comes from the from the words that are being spoken into this song yes are you getting that wow. so any song you listen has sound and has words and has a beat these beats are from the words from the words that are being sung to this song that's why you find the addiction of music is so much among the teenagers and the youth than anything else why music communicates directly to your emotions and to your heart mm. you get that way, it goes to your emo emotions appeals to your emotions mm. and then goes to your heart wow. but anything you watch has to be processed by the mind the mm. intellect mm -hmm. you, the, the, the mind has to process is this okay what is this what am i watching mm -hmm. then after it is processed it is goes it goes to the emotions mm -hmm. and then after it goes to the emotions it has to go to the will so that the will can make a decision whether it is a yes and or no mm -hmm. but music directly goes to the, to your emotions appeals to your emotions mm -hmm. then enters into your heart mm -hmm. you get that and in, and in songs have been scientifically proven that they, they they align themselves with your heartbeat with the rhythm of your heart mm -hmm. That's why you find people when they are, they are really swallowed up and you wonder, hey, this is not what happens when you are watching something. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's why you find even after you have left a song, mm -hmm. you still feel the beat is still continuing. Yes. Even, even hours, you even when your, you, in your mind. thank you, mm -hmm. even when you sleep, mm -hmm. the beat is, because the, the songs directly comes with energy mm -hmm. that appeals to your emotions. Mm -hmm. To the pleasurable part of your emotions mm. then goes to your heart and when it enters into your heart it becomes part of you mm. remember it is from the heart that the mouth speaks wow. it is from the heart that you act wow. from and so you we the youth <laughs> have to be very intentional uh -huh. you get the point eh? mm. uh, the music we listen mm. the songs we listen we, we listen mm. what are the things that we are watching because mm. they all this can you imagine you are watching songs that are secular and very let me say very uh, profane profane, profane. Mm. and then you are watching now porn you are watching uh you know uh what do you call it? Horror, horror, horror movies so your mind is so cluttered and when you are hooked up in music it is very easy for you to be obsessed in these other deviations of pornography you know masturbation sites to be a homosexual all these things that we do stealing you know killing murdering you, you are easily because you are got by music and that's why you find whether in the kingdom of god or in the kingdom of satan music is highly priced mm. yeah and that's why in no church you will go for any service and there is no praise and worship mm -hmm. no wow. demonic altars wow. or demonic satanism in illuminati mm -hmm. they are they really fund their their participants the people that they have given those powers to do music on a very high level mm -hmm. you hear someone has just put a music and within one hour it is watched by a million a hundred million people yeah. Yeah. yeah because of that spirit and because yeah. of that sound and the beat you get the and the energy that it comes in mm -hmm. and so young people you need to know you can ruin your life by music 
because we have said musing appeals to your emotions and then directly to your heart and when it is in your heart it becomes part of you but when you are watching something sometimes you may deliver yourself by saying ah this thing is not nice mm -hmm. the in the intellect the in the intellect is able to tell you no this is not right this is wrong and at the end of the day you may escape but music mm -hmm. not many people are able to escape from that addiction mm -hmm. so maybe just mm -hmm. to speak to someone a youth mm -hmm. who is born again mm -hmm. and struggling with maybe secular music or you call them love they mm -hmm. say god is love we are mm -hmm. just listening to love you are lying to yourself <laughs> every human being has two things the subconscious mind and the conscious mind mm -hmm. every time you're listening or you are exposing yourself to anything that gets into in, into you you are rewiring your subconscious mind mm -hmm. so there was a time i used to listen to music a lot i my husband was laughing at me the other day. Do you still want to pursue dancing as a career? I wanted to, I was dancing. Yes. And nobody would beat me in dancing. Yes. And God dealt with me. Mm -hmm. There is just a day God told me, my daughter, you, 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 you love me, but I can't work with you with all this junk. Mm -hmm. And comparing my life now and life then, music is like alcohol. In a potato short lived peace. Mm -hmm. uh, peace. Then when you get there, your world is still tattered and scattered. I deliberately started replacing my music, favorite music, with gospel music and insisting this is what I'm going to listen. Mm. And who is God? God, he works slowly, slowly, but progressively. Mm -hmm. Over time, I don't have the urge. Mm -hmm. There was a time I would, I, would, I would go with my husband somewhere, even couples retreats <laughs> in Guinea. And then they put that music that is mine, uh, the, the slow, slow ones. And I'm like, darling, Sasa, this is the place we'll be coming. That, that spirit was working in me. Mm -hmm. But currently I'm like, what are these people? What it do they enjoy? You. It irritates me, yeah. honestly. That's very true, very mm. deep. I want to speak to our youth mm. who are always on earphones and listening to music. Mm. There is good music. And most of you say that Christian music has no vibe. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it has vibe. It is yeah, because no your mindset has been mm. distorted. Mm. And so uh, spirituality will actually eliminate all this. When you start studying the word of God, you meditate on the word of God. You mm. speak back the word of God over your life. Mm. If you're able to pray with the scriptures, that is so wonderful. Wow. And I keep telling them, mm. you know, to use the acronym of pray. Mm. The word pray is very powerful. Yes. You begin by praising the Lord. Wow. Then wow. you repent mm. of what you have done. Yes. You get the point. Eh? Yes. Then you ask. Yes. Praise the Lord. Mm. Then you yield to the Holy Spirit. Wow. That's the right way as a youth mm. to be able to live a very good life. Whereby you are not easily moved mm. by what other youths are doing. Mm. You are moved from within because you have prayed. Mm. You know, you have praised God enough. Mm. So learn to put, because there are good songs on YouTube. There are good songs that you can listen. Mm. Kindly attune yourself to that. Replace that mm. with something that is possible, that, which is positive that can be able to help you to go to your next level. I love what you are saying yeah. <laughs> and the advice you are giving how you are able to overcome, overcome yeah. this mm -hmm. addiction yes. of music and dancing mm -hmm. and all that. Eh? Yes. And one of the things that I think um, is very important mm -hmm. is that, um, you know, if one is going to overcome these things, mm -hmm. you must have a focus in life. Mm -hmm. Because wow. when we are not focused, anything that comes, yes, yeah. it will be good. Mm. Any person who comes away and gives a suggestion, mm. you will not take it mm -hmm. because you don't have focus. A, a focus mm. or a certain goal mm. in your life. Mm. And the word of God says clearly in the book of Psalm chapter 1 mm. that mm. blessed is the man mm. who does not walk in the counsel mm. of the ungodly. Oh, yes. So are you a young person and you're listening to us? Mm. What counsel are you walking under? Mm -hmm. The Bible says he does not sit mm -hmm. in the seat of the mm -hmm. mockers, mockers mm -hmm. or stand in the way of sinners. Mm -hmm. Which highway are you standing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You walk? Yes. Mm -hmm. Stand. You stand, yes. Yes. you see. You see, you were walking, going somewhere, <laughs> yes. and then you stood. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. then, you say, this takes you interest. then you sat down, down. <laughs> now to hear. Ah. Ah. Yeah. And, and anybody who gets distracted, yes. yeah, and especially in these two areas that are so addictive, mm. namely uh, sex mm. and alcohol, mm -hmm. 
and or drugs. drugs. Mm. You know, those, those two areas are so addictive. Mm. If you're not careful... And now you're adding music. And now you're adding music. Mm. And, 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 and you're following your friends. Mm. You know, you're following other people. Mm. And by the way, when you're taking this alcohol, when you're entertaining these girls, whose money are you using? <laughs> Mm -hmm. My father. You know, it is a shame. Mm -hmm. It is the pocket money that you are given <laughs> to go and buy a panty to your girlfriend. It's a big shame. You can't do yeah. like that. Yeah. How can you do like that? Yeah. You are using your mommy's pocket money after she sold potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then that's the money you're using to go and buy a drink. To your girl mm -hmm. and show them how you are a hero and appear really. cool. Yeah. They call it cool. You? You so appear bad. cool. You appear cool. <laughs> are you really cool or you are something different? Yeah? yeah. So you've got to make a choice. Mm -hmm. You've got to decide mm -hmm. that there are things that you will not do because your friends are doing it. Mm -hmm. So you must teach yourself to learn away. Mm -hmm. Pastor Sue said, mm. Joseph was in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. Assume he was very far from home. Abroad. You know, abroad. Mm. But what did he do when he was given a very good offer? Because mm. I believe that was actually an offer he was given. Yeah. Mrs. President. Yes. Mm. A, a great woman in the, in the land. Mrs. President. He wants to give you for free. Exactly. Mm. To a free to a <laughs> Then you know, he will run to eat. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And he was told that if you do this, nobody will know. Mm. Number two, your salary will go up. Mm -hmm. Your job group will change. Uh -huh. I will give you offers. That... I'll recommend it to my husband exactly. for a bigger position. Mm. Exactly. And after all, mm. Joseph had not requested for this. Kwa hivyo siya tilazma iwe, ati nasema, aa, mimi sikuwa ni nataka, ni vile niliingizwa kwa box. Bona ulikubari? Ulikubari kwa box. Can you imagine? Somebody 13 years, 17 years, 25 years, ati unaingia kwa box. How can you fit in a box, somebody like you? Why not a box of good things? Yes! Why not fit into a good thing? In a box. Joseph did not agree. And because of that... And maybe he would have agreed, he would have jeopardized his destiny. God would have chosen another person because the plan of God has to continue wow. regardless of your distraction exactly. so god will just appoint another person yes you'll remain there derailed yes mm. and because we love you so mm. much that is trying to tell you yes mm. it is good not to be distracted yes. and put in a ball yes. yeah. and you see i want to say also mm. uh, this one time i was a teenager mm. and i thank god that i was able to make the right choices mm -hmm. today mm. i don't have a challenge talking to my children mm -hmm. in that age because when I was a teenager, mm. there are things that I never did. Wow. You know, wow. so for me to talk to them, it's, it's not a big easy. issue. Yeah. Because mm. already I overcame. Mm. I was able to live a good life. Mm. Remember one day, you'll be a father. Mm. You'll be a mother. You know, you'll be a show show. <laughs> what will we say about you yeah. when you are a grandmother, when you used to be a teenager? So you need to have a a good record mm. so that you can move to sit down people and tell them by the way you don't do things in such and such a way so look at the future mm. don't just look at today exactly. i think one of the yeah. greatest <laughs> problems yeah. you're saying pastor monene mm. and i want to pick on that mm. is that look at your future don't look at your today mm. most of the youth don't think they are aging mm. so they they use their energy wrongly not knowing that that energy is supposed to serve them mm. for their next level. Yeah. And I think self-discipline is also very important. Mm. Self-discipline, not our, not friends' discipline, mm. but you have to be self-disciplined, wow. such that you have your own values, you have mm. your own you know, principles that mm. you stand by. And you say, the, your no must be no, and your yes must be yes. Yeah. You know, for you to be self-disciplined, one of the things that is very, very key and very paramount, mm. you have to be having a teachable spirit. Mm. You must have a teachable spirit mm. such that don't assume that you know everything. Mm. How come you are 25 years and you know everything mm. and you don't want to listen to someone who is 45 years, mm. 40 years, when did you know everything? Mm -hmm. If if we who are even over 50 years, we are still learning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is that that makes us feel? Mm -hmm. It's pride that makes mm -hmm. us feel that it's you pride. know everything. So when you think you know everything, mm -hmm. you'll be trapped in your wisdom. Mm -hmm. 
you know in your in your in your shrewdness you find yourself getting caught up and so having a teachable spirit and sometimes just listening to what the elders are, are saying is very important it can it can make you escape from a lot of trouble but every time you keep on making your mother cry you become a prayer point to your parent you make sure that you hurt them as much as possible those words that parents keep on you know speaking over your life can become a curse you know they, they say that a curse without a cause cannot stay now this is a curse with a cause because already you have your parent can tell you are on your way to destruction but to you you are enjoying life you, you are having fun you see that when your mother your father keeps on talking and talking and talking over again i want to let you know you are calling a curse over your life and what you are planting what you are sowing to your mother and your father is what your children also sow so would you want to go through the same thing what your mother can you imagine some of the parents are diabetic others are even having high blood pressure mm -hmm. others even have uh, you know migraines that don't go mm -hmm. because of too much stress too much stress hormone yeah. cortisol the hormone is so high they are always stressed they are always worried because they don't have, they don't know whether they are going to, to you are going to die the next minute they don't know whether you are coming back mm -hmm. you are umeshikwa na polisi wameenda huko kukutoa pesa zile walikuwa maybe wanunue chakula imekuwa diverted yes just uh, to I just want to finish and then each one of us will just give the, the, the final remarks. I had a classmate in primary school who she was so awkward until her mother died of pressure. So that. what you are saying is happening. Oh. She goes sleeping out with the men, whatever, and she was just a thing in Form 2, Form 3. She is sent to school one month. The mother died of pressure. So I want to tell the youth that, uh, as my final remarks, that uh, we for us to be different youths, we must do things differently. Mm -hmm. When all other youths are going this direction, you take a different route. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, when I joined Form 1, I was number last term 1, second last term 2, second last term 3. In Form 1, the old form, form 1, I was among the, the, those days they used to call bottom 10s. So I was among the bottom 10 for the last, the whole of Form 1. Mm -hmm. Same thing to Form 2, term 1, also among, I was among the bottom 10s. Uh, what was happening? I was a very big fan of Chelsea. I will go and watch football. Those days, you come back in Africa, we will even watch a game from 3 a.m. In Asia, 3 a.m. in Nanza, 1 a.m. And after we watch that game on Saturday, we will discuss this game from Monday until another Saturday, when another game will come. <laughs> so the whole of this is just discussing. And to use no, ni coach, you ni flan. So the whole of this, no consultation, no reading. And then you see, my pride was that in my family, I was the first to go beyond class, for class 8 or from 1, to join from 1. So, I was an achievement. I've already become a winner. So what I nikikwa e sina shida. There was nothing I was going to to, to carry over. So it reached a point in Kasama now. What am I going to do with my life? So I began doing things differently. As people are waking up at five to go to class, I will wake up at three. Mm. When people are going to sleep at ten, I will go and sleep midnight. Mm. Just to do something different that other people are Extra. doing. Yes. Yeah. When I came to form two second time, I was now in top ten. Mm -hmm. From bottom ten to top ten, I said, What? I'm in top ten. Meaning I'm going to university because now I was looking for top ten. Wow. When I you shall figure university, I said, What? I'm now in top ten. Meaning I'm going to university. Now it motivated me. So it means just you and can you just become a, became a prefect. Yes, so now wow. I became a head boy, you see. Yeah. So you see, just changing from a habit that you think if I replace this habit, mm -hmm. so since that day I hated the football until now I can never go and watch it for 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. I can never, it just got off my mind. Mm -hmm. Because uh, let me focus my energy on what? <laughs> on something constructive. Something constructive. Uh -huh. So every youth see what you can do with your life, take a different route, what others are doing, mm -hmm. leave them. Come on, I'm here to bash tonight. Some of me bash up, I better go and read. Mm -hmm. I better look for a book. Mm -hmm. I better look for a preaching. I better go for a cash. Something that will be changing your life. So mm -hmm. I know you have learned so much from this show today. And just as we are going to log out, I want to give each one of us just a minute to give final remarks. Let me give each one of us a chance to say a word. No one, when they are 50 years, 70 years, 90 years, they are so happy when they remember the kind of life they used to live of taking alcohol, sex everywhere, immorality, Nobody is so happy with such a kind of a life if that is what they were doing. Alcohol and immorality is not an investment. You need to rethink your action. Because what you are doing today 
it will catch up with you at your old age. What do you want to be remembered for? Change now. If you are listening to me and you are watching this video, the time to change is now, not tomorrow. God bless you. Today I'm talking as a big sister. When you get out of campus, you will begin to realize that you need a soft skill. You need something like a side hustle, something that you need to do out of just your passion. Because it Nasema, maybe I'm doing this thing because I don't have a job. I graduated, haven't gotten something I can do. But you can develop something just by yourself, something you like. And the only way to realize what you can do to contribute to the society is by you taking time for yourself. Yeah, take time away a bit from the phone and distractions and the music, as we've said, and just start to ask yourself, what do I like? If it is cooking, we have YouTube. You can be cooking and putting it on YouTube. You can be doing something that you like. And nowadays we have the advantage of social media, digital platforms. You can put out your art there and your skills there. And by doing this, you'll find yourself you've solved like all of your problems. You are busy, you are focused, you are always looking forward on how to grow your art. So we love you so much and we hope the best for you. And whatever it is that you've been going through, I'm a big sister, you can always talk to me. May God bless you and we wish you all the best in your future lives. I want to speak to all the viewers who are watching me and it is important for us to understand that your life is determined by the decisions that you make and the things that you are ready to follow. I came to tell you, don't allow your erection. Don't allow drinking beer. Don't allow taking your drugs, abuse, to determine your direction and your action in life. You've got one life to live, and this life must be lived by you. Regrets are the worst memories. We don't want you to regret. We want you to enjoy life because you took counsel when you are young. And when you are old, you remember that indeed you lived a life that is worthy living. Leave a legacy that will live to be talked about your character and your words and the impact you had to your generation because you chose the right path. And the right path is the fear of the Lord because it is the beginning of all wisdom. God bless you. If you are a youth, I would like to speak to you that if I was able to change my grades from being the bottom last to the bottom tens, then it is possible for you also to change your habits. I will tell you that there is something that we call hard work in this life, and hard work will always come. If you postpone it, it will still come in future again. You see, those people who wake up very early in the morning to go and work, they are sacrificing their sleeps. Someone is waking up at 3 a.m. to read. He's sacrificing their sleep. This point here, they will not sleep too much because they saved their time by working hard. You see, it reached a point in your life whereby you are sleeping too much until 9. You are going to parties. You are avoiding hard work. You are becoming drunkard. You are into drugs. Unasema una enjoy life. It affects time in your life. Ukombele, none will tell you to wake up very early. Utakuna mku na pata ukona bibi hapo na utrosita minguzi me crack kwa migu. They they wanna rob blankets. Utamuka pole pole manyo at 4 a.m. When you have time, wakote ni uskume. You wake up at 4 a.m. Kwenye jambe kwenye kulimia watu. Why? Because you refuse to wake up early those days. So this time you are wasting on drugs on parting, on sex. Save it for your future. When you see a man in his office and azunka or kitten and apata millions of shillings, akuna kazi anafanya, this man spent his time reading sometimes. He spent his time sleepless nights sacrificing for what he is doing right now. And hard work will always come. Unapata mtu anakimbia na mkokoten the whole day and a sweat and he's only earning 50 shillings or 200 shillings per day. Then we say it's not fair. It's very fair. This man refused to sleep. If this man slept so too much somewhere, now he cannot sleep. Yet there's somebody who did not sleep, now is sleeping. So it's upon you to choose whether you want to sleep now or sleep in the future.